Hi grade fours. Today we are going to learn about decimal tenths and place value. So you have been learning about fractions. You know that this fraction right here says one tenth. A picture of it in a pizza cut into 10 pieces would be one piece shaded out of 10. And you even know on a number line that would look like marking an X right there to show one tenth. Today, what we're going to learn is about the decimal point. And I'm sure you've all seen them if you've written down money, like you've got an allowance of $5.50, there's a decimal point there. Well, today we're gonna to learn how to do decimal points and put a number after the decimal point. And that place is called the 10th th place. It has a THS at the end, tenths. So that's what we're learning today. So boys and girls, you already know how to write the fraction two tenths like that. If it were written as a decimal, you would write it like this, zero decimal two or just decimal two. Both of those show a two after the decimal and that means two tenths. Three tenths would simply be decimal three and nine tenths would simply be decimal nine. We say decimals in a different way or two different ways. We can say 0 0.1 or we can even say one tenth. Both ways are correct. On a number line, it's like looking at a fraction number line when we go from zero to one. These fractional amounts can also be made into decimal amounts. So starting with eight tenths, which as a fraction looks like this, if something's divided into 10 equal parts, eight tenths refers to eight of those parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna put that there and write it as a decimal. Here, five tenths looks like this as a fraction, but as a decimal, it looks like this, zero decimal five. Two tenths would go right here, and that would be zero decimal two, or two tenths. And seven tenths would go right here, and that's the same as zero decimal seven. Great. So now they're asking us to write the decimal and fraction that are marked in red on this number line. Again, this number line is divided into 10 equal parts. So I know that this is, don't start counting at the zero, count after. One, two, three tenths, and the way to write that as a decimal is, yep, yeah, zero decimal three. This red X is four tenths, or zero decimal four, and this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine tenths of the way to the finish line, and this is zero decimal nine. Okay, excellent work. So if I were to draw this or shade this, it's very similar to doing fractions. Again, I say to myself, zero decimal two, or two out of 10, and so two out of 10 equal pieces would be shaded. If you ate two tenths of the, piece of the pizza, that would be two pieces out of 10. Here, this fraction strip has 10 equal parts, so decimal three is three out of 10 equal parts shaded. Here, decimal five means five out of 10 pieces shaded, so you would shade one, two, three, four, five, all the way across. And here, decimal six means six tenths of the equal pieces are shaded, and so you would cross out six tenths like that. Awesome. Okay, next slide. Now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna look at an image and write the decimal. So I'm gonna look at the shaded parts. I can see eight tenths are shaded, but they want me to write it as a decimal. So I'm gonna write this decimal eight. 
B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 out of 10 is shaded 7 tenths or 0 decimal 7. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 10, 5 tenths or 0 decimal 5. And here, 8 tenths or 0 decimal 8. So you're going to have questions like that in your workbook today. So remember what we've done here. Okay, next slide. All right, we're going to look at place value. So you guys, we know place value. We know our ones digit. We know our tens digits. We know after tens comes hundreds. And after hundreds comes thousands. And I'm just going to put TH. And today we learned that you can add a decimal point and have this new place called tenths with a THS at the end. So what is the place value of this digit? Digit means number. So if I asked you, what is the place value of two? You would say, Mrs. Acker, that's two ones. The place value is two. But if I asked you the place value of eight, so two ones was two, but the place value of the eight, that's eight tens. And the value of eight tens is 80. I'll do one more. If I asked you of the value of nine, that's nine hundreds, because nine is in the hundreds place, and you know it's nine hundred. Okay, so we're gonna practice this for a few minutes. Don't worry if you don't have it yet, let's practice it and you'll get it. Next slide. So, what is the place value and value of this digit? I'm gonna underline the one. So you're going to say, Mrs. Acker, the one is in the thousands place, and its value is 1,000. So the one is worth 1,000. And if I asked you about the five, you would say, Mrs. Acker, that is in the tens place, and it is, its value is 50. Five tens is 50. Finally, if I asked you what is the place of the decimal four, you would tell me, Mrs. Uh, Acker, that is four tenths, or zero decimal four, and its value is four tenths, or four tenths like that. Excellent, or zero decimal four, which it already shows us. So those are all correct. Now let's do some more practice on this. This is tricky, but you can do it. All right, so for Find the place value and value of the digit four in each of these numbers. So we're just gonna do a couple. Let's do, call this A, we'll do A. Underline the four. In this place, it is in the fours and the hundreds place, and its value is 400. In this one, where is the four? The four is in the ones place, or ones, and its value is four. And we'll do one more. In C, the four is in the thousands place, and it is worth 4,000. That's its value. Okay, do another slide. Okay, find the value, just the value of the underlying digit. So this has a one, in the hundreds place underlined, so its value equals 100. This one has a nine underlined in the ones place, so that is nine. This one has an eight underlined in the thousands place, so it's 8,000. This one has a four underlined in the tenths place, so it's four tenths. And this one has a two underlined in the tens place, so its value is 20. Okay, last slide coming up. When you have a number, sometimes they'll ask you to put it into a chart and look at how many thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, and tenths it has. So in the number, 231.7, I have no thousands, I have two hundreds, I have three tens, one one, and seven tenths. 
And today in your workbook, you'll have more numbers than that to break apart and put into a place value chart. That is the lesson 